Hello everybody, Mike, aka the Magico 13, here with episode 20 of the Out of This World series. As you can see, I am about to dock the folding plane with the uh, station. It's getting very close now. I'm just using RCS to bring it all the way in. We're just sliding underneath. It's about to show up on the camera. Alright. Just sliding under there. We are now on the cam. Magnetism has taken over. And we are docked! There we go! We are now docked with that. Sweet. Uh, unfortunately, we still have to wait a little bit for the Eurekas and the bioproducts to come in. Um, because apparently my timing on that was off. So that's a little unfortunate, but not too much of an issue. I'm going to transfer these resources. Um, I'm most likely just going to wait until that is done because we still have another day or so before this is ready. And I also need to check to make sure that um, the moon stuff is going as expected. And hopefully that'll be working. So once this science is finished, I'm going to attempt to fly this back down and land it on Kerbin. Hopefully it'll work. I've never actually done a successful uh, landing with it before. Also, I had to pop those engines off, so they're just kind of floating around up here, which could prove to be an issue in the future, but hopefully not. So I will see you guys when this is done. Until then, have fun with the really quick break. Alright guys, the science appears to be done and we can finalize our results. I have no idea how much this is going to be worth and I'm hoping it is a lot. Ready? Click. Recovery is worth 350 science. 350, that is... That is great. I am extremely excited by that. I'm going to actually start this experiment too because um, I need it to be done. Um, wow, 350 if we can get this to land. That's going to be more than enough for what we need. So let's actually pop Bobald out of here, turn on his RCS pack, and have him... Can I collect this? I know I used to be able to collect results from out of these. Um, Uh-oh. I'm going to be really sad if I can't. Whoa. Review data. Okay. Keep data. I'm going to quick save just to be sure. I could swear that you were able to collect data out of these. But maybe that doesn't count for this one. Or it changed. Oh, if you can't collect data this entire... Uh, oh, no. How far are we from this being done 15 hours and that isn't even ready to go up yet um, I'm I'm really sad if I can't collect the data out of that then I don't I don't really know what I can do um, hmm Well, I guess I'm going to have to either edit that so that you can collect the data, or I'm going to have to just transmit it. So let's go back to the Space Center, and let's actually see how much science we need. 
because if we don't need that much, maybe I'll just transmit it and it won't be super cheaty. But so we need 90 for this. This is 90, but we don't need it. However, it would be really nice to have some bigger fuel tanks. This even comes with the skipper engine, which would be fantastic. I thought these were actually on different ones, but maybe with the interstellar pack, they are the same. Um, the advanced solars are 160, so we can't even... we have 85. Um, so if that's 160, this is 90, we need 240 for those. 140, that would bring us up to 225, which isn't quite enough for both of these. Uh, I'm going to make the executive decision to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to make it so that you can actually take the science out of those, because I swear to you, you can do it with the other one. I think I've done it in this series. So I'm going to do a config edit to do that. Ooh, we can get the Alcor pod here, too. Basically, I want that science really badly. So I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right. Call me a cheater if you want, but I went in and I made it so that you can grab the results out of this, we'll hope, which hopefully won't break everything somehow. Um, well... The reason I did it is because this is fixed here. There's nothing I can do about that. And I know that that's going to be inoperable, which is fine by me, because I... That's why I'm sending the science part up later, is because then I can reset this. So currently I can't do anything with it. Um, so that should be in here. Report's not worth anything. Uh, if I review the stored data, recovery is 350 science. Um, there may be some reason why they wanted it that way, but oh well. I don't really care. It is this way now. So yeah, you can... I've made it so you can recover the part, the science out of this. All you have to do is change some stuff in the part config. It's actually really easy to do. Um, now it's just a matter of time warping until we are here or so. Let's, let's do it a quarter orbit away. That'll be like 110. That is not going to properly show us the red mount, but yeah. Um, so let's just time warp up. until we are right there. Yeah, that'll work. Let's quick save, close the alarm clock. Now I need to switch back to Bobald Kerman and do his IVA. I don't have the option now, we're apparently still time warping. A little past where I wanted to be, but oh well. Um, reference part, undock, enter. This one. That was hopefully the right one. Yes, that appears to be correct. Okay. Info, no, flight, orbit. Let's flip ourselves around. Point in the retrograde direction. Let's flip this way. Yeah, we're going to flip into that. So let's maybe flip... Not that way. All the wrong ways. This way. Are we pointed retrograde? Now we're pointed retrograde. Okay. Go into map mode. And begin our deorbit burn. I don't know how far this should be. So I will put it there. I'm going to quick save now. And then we can make changes later. And 
just because otherwise I won't be able to see. I'm going to unfold these wings. Which you guys can just barely see, and then rotate them back to their normal position. And then turn around and point prograde. All right, we should be good. Actually, let's quick save here. Let me just make sure that that is working. I had an issue the last time I tried recording, uh, not today, but yesterday, where it decided to just not save properly, and so the game just broke. Okay, now we're starting to get re-entry effects. I don't know if anything's going to heat up and blow up. Hopefully not. These tanks are getting really warm. The cockpit's getting really warm. Oh, that scared me. I don't know what that was. Life support. Uh, we're starting to have some things heat up a little too much. We lost a wing, and our parachute's in the back, and another wing is not yet gone, but... Um, we might be coming in a little too hot. We're still going two kilometers per second. The temperature is dropping. We still have wheels and a wing. All right, let's um see what we can do. I want to I need to lose some height. Wow. Uh, I have tested this a little bit, and that is the first time I've had anything overheat. Frankly, that was quite terrifying, in fact. I'm kind of purposefully trying to spin it some, but don't really want to land in the ocean, because there's no way we can survive that. And it looks like we're going to be over the oceans. Okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can somehow get over... Now I'm starting to lose control. Yeah, it's just going to flail around now. And we don't... No, we do have a parachute left. For whatever reason, I didn't decide that it was going to be a good idea to include an um, emergency escape system. And that's the old parachute. Okay. Quick save loading time. Let's try that again. That was apparently... Well, okay, now we're in a bit of a predicament, because the issue is I need to start that... Um, that burn earlier, but I quick saved here. And I need to... Yeah, because I came in too steep. Um, maybe I can use the lift more. I'm going to try to kill some velocity, just kill some of the vertical velocity, so that we're in the upper atmosphere a little longer, which will slow us down more. Maybe even try turning away from the, st the stream a little bit. 
just to build up that drag. Yeah, because we are still going really, really quick. Vertical's down to only about 110 meters per second, but still, this is very quick. And we don't have any ablative shielding or anything, so this is all just the parts themselves. And we're about to start getting into that heavy part of the atmosphere. Our vertical velocity has dropped quite a bit. We're down to 75 almost now, um, but our total surface velocity is still very, very high, and we're now just about to hit that. I'm going to actually pitch over this way to try to balance out some of what I've done. The meter is just there, and now I'm still super worried. And according to this, we have a large scale stall. stall large scale stall. But that is fine. I'm fine with that. Hopefully that will just help us kill off more velocity. I'm still pretty much in control. We're just quite far away from our forward vector. Um... And how's the heating going this time? See, it seems like it's a lot better because our vertical velocity is so low. Yeah, vertical speed is only negative 72. However, we're going to overshoot by quite a bit. Um, and I'm not sure if I can do much about that. I mean, maybe, just maybe, I can get us to turn around some. Our vertical velocity is picking up too much though. How are things doing for temperature? Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, our temperatures are quite fine in fact right now, but we are definitely flying over KSC. Um, and we're probably going to fly over the island runway too. So I may have to do try to do a water landing, which is going to be interesting, to say the least. And our velocity has actually dropped down quite a bit. I'm, we're low enough that I'm not going to be concerned. Um, but I still want to perhaps go for the island runway. So let's, let's actually increase... how much we're going down. Just to try to kill off some of that velocity. And we are going straight down now. <laughs> Oh, we may be able to glide all the way back. Probably not. And we're now below Mach 1, so we have much, much more control. I'm going to lower the landing gear. Let me just make sure that those actually lower. Cool. No, <laughs> accidentally put them back up. And now it's just a matter of flying through these clouds and getting to the island runway. Ooh, now is a bad time to stall. Now if we stall, bad things will happen. Um, and supposedly you can quick save an atmosphere now. And it does appear as if that worked. Kind of. Uh, we are going very quickly downwards though. Minor stall. Oh, I need to kill that stall. OK, 
come in a little too fast. Still, yeah, we're, our vertical velocity is like negative 100, which is far too much. We have parachute release of the drag chutes. We are losing parts. What did we end up with? We ended up with half a plane, but we have in fact successfully landed. That is a successful landing. EVA report. Nothing. And you'll notice he doesn't have a helmet on. That is because I am using... Um, the uh, texture replacer mod for the skybox, which also happens to give me um, no helmet. We have, in fact, actually landed, though. Oh my god. I am so amazed right now that that actually worked. Um, not sure if that's going to be all that's in this episode. It's very possible, uh, so if it is, I'm going to have to do these recoveries. Hang on. Let's recover this. That will get us actually enough science to unlock what we wanted to unlock. Um, because that will get us 11.4 science. Let's go to the tracking station. And now we're going to get the other 350 or so. Here we go, land it at Kerbin, recover, recover. There we go, 350 science for a total of 447. Let's unlock some things, and then I will probably call it quits for this episode. Um, sorry if it's a little short, no idea how long it's going to actually end up being. Uh, however, it's been a very successful episode for me. So this gets us the inline cockpit, which I need to get the mod that allows that to... Um, have an interior, because it currently doesn't. Surface-mounted air brakes, those would have been helpful. Let's get those. But most importantly, that gets us the Octo. Um, a bunch of high-altitude flight parts. Not really worth the, all of the science that that would cost. Ooh, including gigantic air intakes. That's pretty sweet. Thermal turbojets. Oh, yes, we are now starting to actually get close to using some inter interstellar stuff. Um... It is important to me that we have new solar panels, because the ones we have suck. Um, but that also means we have to worry more about radiators and stuff like that, but I don't really care. I'm going to go with new solar panels, because that is an absolute necessity. Uh, in addition, we could get the Alcor pod, because that is an IVA pod that doesn't totally suck. Um, not that these ones totally suck, they just kind of suck. I'm going to go with the larger rocket parts, because then we can actually launch things much easier. This also contains gigantic life support systems, which are necessary. Um, we have 107 science left, which means we can't yet unlock anything else, because these all require 160. But that gets us much, much closer to doing something actually useful. Um, so I'm going to send out a lathe probe probably soon with the inline thing and some solar panels. The real nice solar panels. Um, so yeah, I'm Mike, aka the Magico 13 Thank you all for watching. That was an extremely good episode for me in not so much in the commentary and all that but in what we actually got done i am quite satisfied with that so once again thank you all for watching see you all next time